Hello, everyone. I think we're all in need of strength. We're all in need of healing. And we're all in need of that sense that we're not in this alone. We are in these sacred and deeply needed efforts together. And sometimes the best thing for nourishing us in these moments is music. And We shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday, oh deep in my heart. I do believe we shall overcome someday. We'll walk hand in hand. We'll walk hand in hand. We'll walk hand in hand someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome. Someday We shall all be free We shall all be free We shall all be free Someday I do believe we shall all be free someday. We are not afraid. We are not afraid. Not afraid someday deep in my heart I do believe we are not afraid. We are not alone We are not alone We are not alone Today Deep in my heart I do believe We are not alone Today We shall We shall overcome, we 
shall overcome someday. Deep in my heart, I do We shall overcome today. Hey everybody, Governor Phil Murphy here. The past week has been a time of deep reflection for me as I suspect it has been for many of you. Across our state and country, people are demanding transformational change in a way we haven't seen in maybe 30 years. I support these protests, as I know many of you do. The pain associated with this movement is real. It is the pain and fatigue of decades, generations, centuries of inequality and systemic racism. It is an experience that many people, most, myself included, will never know firsthand. The names of this movement must be said again and again. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and many, many more before them who lost their lives for no reason other than the color of their skin. We also must repeat these words, black lives matter. The unity displayed across our community shows that New Jersey is ready to lead the fight against racism in our nation. What we saw across our state over the past few days was the natural outgrowth of these efforts. People with privilege recognizing the pain of those without and law enforcement marching side by side with their communities. Let's lead in bringing the change that we need. We must continue to listen, to stand in solidarity, and to act. Now let's move onward together. My name is Rudy Fernandez, and on behalf of the entire Livingston Town Council, myself, Sean, Ed, Al, Michael, what occurred in Minneapolis to George Floyd is never acceptable. When something like this occurs, it makes us angry and outraged. It also undermines the good work done by the majority of police officers, especially those right here in Livingston. Livingston is a community where we come together and proudly celebrate diversity and inclusion. And this is embraced not only by our residents, but also our employees and our police department. The officers of the Livingston Police Department regularly participate in all the multicultural events we offer. And in Livingston, we all believe that our diversity is our strength. We host events throughout the year, every year, that demonstrate this commitment and shows that Livingston is a community where we come together and proudly celebrate each and every culture. I mentioned the quote earlier this year at Livingston's MLK Day of Service event, which is equally, if not more appropriate at this time. Rabbi Prince, the spiritual leader of Temple B'nai Abraham in Newark, and later right here in Livingston, was very active in the area of social justice locally nationally and internationally, and brought Dr. King to the congregation back in 1963. Rabbi Prince said back then, neighbor is not a geographic term. It is a moral concept. It means our collective responsibility to the preservation of a man's dignity and integrity. We need to continue to embrace this philosophy today, tomorrow, and every day. Hello, my name is Gary Marshes, and I have the privilege and honor of serving as the police chief here in Livingston. On May 25th, 2020, George Floyd lost his life at the hands of former Minneapolis police officers. The video was difficult and disturbing to watch, even for a seasoned law enforcement officer. The Livingston Police Department immediately denounced the deplorable acts and actions of these officers. But I wanna reassure the public that things are different here in New Jersey. In New Jersey, and more importantly, in the Township of Livingston, we have mandatory training to help prevent an incident like this from happening. Our officers receive training in racial profiling, anti-harassment, cultural diversity, use of force, verbal de-escalation techniques, and implicit bias. My door here at the police department is always open to continue this dialogue and to discuss the issues at hand. Thank you. Hello, I am Billy Fine, Chair of the Livingston Committee for Diversity and Inclusion. 
over the last several months, life as we know it has changed drastically. Yet still, across the country, there are new cases of the same old story of prejudice and injustice. One of the most recent being the death of George Floyd. This tragic event reinvigorated the discussion on race issues in America in a way we have not experienced in decades. While what happened in Minneapolis may have been states away, we joined together with our neighbors in Essex County, New Jersey, and the United States of America in offering a commitment to be better. I am proud to know that Livingston offers such an emphasis on celebrating our diversity and inclusion in meaningful ways, giving opportunities for education and interaction. We are fortunate to have our township led by individuals who share these values of justice and integrity. We have a police department valiantly led by Chief Marshutes, operated with the intention of community policing, which offers uh, to protect and serve with their mindset in their daily activities and engages with citizens to show that we are stronger when we work together. Livingston recognizes the pain and sorrow felt by our residents and will continue to strive for a better society for all who call our town home. We can only do this with meaningful conversations and with your help. Please stay safe and remember your town is here in service of you. Thank you to the Livingston Mayor and Council, as well as all who keep our community safe and functional. My name is Faith Joy Dantowitz. I am one of the rabbis at Temple B'nai Abraham here in Livingston, New Jersey. Judaism teaches that God created every human being in the divine image and God breathed life into us. The Hebrew word nishama, soul, shares the root for breath, nishima. When George Floyd was murdered last week, the police officer literally stole his breath. It is difficult to breathe knowing a human being brazenly snuffed out his life. For many suffering from COVID-19, it is difficult to breathe and we are witnessing a higher impact on people of color during this pandemic. That is because it has been difficult to breathe for black people since the founding of this nation. America, the land of the free and the home of the brave has not lived up to its aspirations. When we do not see the divinity in another human being, we diminish holiness and life in our world. This past week, human beings across our nation are inflamed as our cities have sadly also been on fire. The fire rages when injustice is allowed to breathe while justice is suffocated. To this we say enough, stop. It is time to stand up for every human being to recognize that when one person suffers, we all suffer. We are commanded via Haftel Reacha Kamocha to love your neighbor as yourself. We are commanded, Lo Ta'amod al Dam Reacha, do not stand idly by while your neighbor bleeds. And we are commanded in Deuteronomy, Sedek, Sedek, Tirdof, justice, justice you shall pursue. The repetition of the word Sedek, justice, means that we can not only care about justice in a theoretical manner. We can not only care about justice when one black man's life is destroyed. We must care about justice now and always and work to snuff out the injustice built into the system. And we must listen to the voices of people of color, which also include members of the Jewish community cities and towns across our nation stand up for injustice today, I pray that we stay awake, that we stay awake to this injustice and that we continue the work to build the world as it should be. Amen.
Hi, I am Reverend Dan Martian, pastor at the Presbyterian Church of Livingston and president of the Clergy Association. Today we stand in solidarity with our African American brothers and sisters against the evil of racism and cry out to the Lord, how long, O Lord, how long? We stand together proclaiming that all God's children one day will live with respect and dignity. Why not today? This dream is not won by being passive, but with sheer determination that together we can make a difference to affirm that every voice is sacred and needs to be heard. This is accomplished when all of us connect together and walk the talk that evil is overcome with good. As the late Malcolm X said, we need more light about each other. Light creates understanding. Understanding creates love. Love creates patience. And patience creates unity. May this be our clarion call right here in Livingston as we learn to live together in peace and harmony and thus be an instrument of God's shalom. Indeed, we are stronger together. Let's get it done. My name is Keith Times. I'm here to tell you about the opinion of, of the situation that happened a couple of days ago with George Floyd that was killed by the, a police. And I think this is not right. I think the police stepped their, oh, stepped their boundaries with excessive force. And I think that the police should give respect to the Afro-Americans, which they don't at times. And I think that the world will be a better place if we get along with everybody. I think it's a tragedy, and the pro. But I'm I'm so glad that in this country we have the right to protest, but not rioting, because rioting is not fair. Looting, business and stuff is not right. You hurt your own country, your own places that you live at. We just go back to these places, not they all burn down. But yeah, I believe that things will get better. I think things will get better over the years, and we can overcome this. And uh, I think also I hope that uh, things will will definitely get better and we can live in harmony and respect respect each other's values regardless of race. Thank you. Shalom everyone. This is Rabbi Simeon Cohen from Temple Beth Shalom. The Talmud records a famous debate between two rabbis, Rabbi Akiva and Rabbi Shimon ben Azai who both lived about 2,000 years ago. Their argument was over a profoundly significant question. What is the single most important Jewish teaching? Rabbi Akiva said, oh, that's easy. Of course, our greatest teaching is ve'ahavta l're'echa kamocha. Love your neighbor as yourself. That is the most basic principle of the Torah. But Shimon ben Azai said, no, Akiva, you're wrong. I know of a principle that is even more fundamental. On the day that God created human beings, God created them, B'Tselem Elohim, in God's image. Male and female, God created them. Friends, there is no single teaching that is more important to take to heart at this incredibly difficult and fraught moment for our country. Every human being, regardless of race, religion, or gender, is created in the image of God. Every human being is a reflection of God. And every human being, regardless of who they are, deserves to be treated as such. And that is a fundamental religious principle that has been forgotten for far too long in our country. And so today, I want to offer a blessing that Jews recite each morning during our daily prayer service. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shasani Betzalmo. Blessed are you, Lord our God, sovereign of the universe, who has created us in your image. May we all keep that blessing in mind as we navigate these dark and difficult days ahead. And to that blessing, we all say, Amen. 
My name is Sabah Khan and I am a Livingston resident, a community I love very much and deeply. Um, I actually just got done picking grocery items from the Interfaith Food Pantry of the Oranges, which is a makeshift food pantry, and then delivering to families who, who have no food to eat. To me, that is America. To me, being an American means to stand up for each other, to help each other when we in time of need. And these times, being quiet is just not an option anymore. Um, if we don't stand up for justice um, and for racial equ equity, um, I'm not sure what we are standing up for anymore. So I stand in solidarity with the black community, with the African American community, and definitely support anybody who wants to um, talk about and, and work towards ending hate and racism from this country. Bye. Hello, my name is Neeta Kamat Jivkar, and I am a proud resident of Livingston. I want to state that I stand in support of the current movement of equality and equal justice. And I want to thank the Township of Livingston for promoting that and for promoting diversity in our town, um, supporting diversity in town. And the same goes for the police uh, of Livingston. Really appreciate their work uh, and their attitude towards their, uh, their work. Thank you so much. Hello, Livingston. I'm Reverend Susan Gillespie, the pastor at Trinity Covenant Church on East Cedar Street in Livingston. We're in the middle of multiple crises these days. And so I hope that with everything going on, you're still being careful about not getting the virus. It's hard to remember everything at once. But I've been asked to help speak with the rest of the clergy association to this moment. And so I wanted to talk about how, what we should be focusing on in the midst of the unrest that we are in the middle of. And besides whatever else we are seeing going on, I think it's really important that we start with what began it all and seek deep insight about that moment, which is the moment when a white police officer suffocated a black man on the street. It's important that we think this one through. We've seen the video, we've seen the video from different angles. We understand that this was not in the midst of a struggle. No, it was actually one man assuming that he had the right and authority to snuff out the life of another man. What brought us to that point? And this is the thing that I think we have to keep coming back around to that somehow in the midst of our cultural heritage, what we've inherited, almost the air that we breathe, there is the notion that white bodies are in some way better than black bodies, that white people in some way have the right to take authority over black people. Now, you and I may not ever have done a conscious thing in that way, but we still breathe that air and it's still there for all of us to the point where I'm told that even black people struggle to think that their bodies aren't less than white bodies. This is the poison that is behind all of what's going on in our culture. So as we think about that, I realize that Christian faith calls us to something very important, which is repentance. Jesus says, repent and then believe the good news. Repentance in the New Testament comes from a Greek word, which is roughly translated to change out your mind for a new one. And this is what we desperately need to do. We need to be willing to have our mind be changed out for a new one that's no longer poisoned on the issues of race and equality. The very good news is God won't turn us away when we ask for that. Jesus said, what father whose son asked him for bread would give his child a stone? In the same way, God, when we come to him and ask him, will freely give us of his spirit. So I invite us all to seek the face of God and ask that our minds would be changed out for new ones, that we could truly repent as individuals and as a nation, that the entire spirit of racism and particularly of anti-blackness 
could be erased from among us. I'm praying for you. Let us sing this song for the turning of the world that we may turn as one with every voice with every song we will move this world along and our lives will feel the echo of our turning with every voice with every song we will move this world along with every voice with every song we will move this world along and our lives will feel the echo of our turning let us sing this song for the loving of the world that we may love as one with every voice with every song we will move this world along and our lives will feel the echo of our loving with every voice with every song we will move this world along with every voice with every song we will move this world along and our lives will feel the echo of our loving feel free to join in let us sing this song for the healing of the world that we may heal as one with every voice with every song we will move this world along and our lives will feel the echo of our healing with every voice with every song we will move this world along with every voice with every song we will move this world along and our lives will feel the echo of our healing let us sing this song for the dreaming of the world that we may dream as one with every voice with every song we will move this world along and our lives will feel the echo of our dreaming with every voice with every song we will move this world along with every voice with every song we will move this world along and our lives will feel the echo of our dreaming and our lives will feel the echo of our healing and our lives will feel the echo of our loving and our lives will feel the echo of our turning